Hello everybody. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Apple Records box set. Here we have 17 CDs all remastered from the Apple Records label. Here's a list of all the CDs included in this set. First of all, my impressions of the box itself is not very good. Uh, this box is very flimsy. It's almost like a cereal box type thickness here. I thought maybe they'd have something a little heavy, heavy duty than this, but um, I guess it holds the CDs. So Let's take a look at what's inside here. First off, we have Bad Fingers Magic Christian Music. Each album does come with bonus tracks, which is nice. And from the CDs I've listened to so far, the sound is really good on these. And each one has a short little booklet. Next up we have Bad Fingers, No Dice. And here we have Bad Fingers straight up. Each of the CDs has the same Apple label on them. And the last bad finger one we have here is ass. Here we have Mary Hopkin postcard. And there's Mary Hopkin Earth Song, Ocean Song.
Next is Jackie Lomax. Is this what you want? Here's the bonus tracks. Here we have two albums in one from the Modern Jazz Quartet. There's Under the Jasmine Tree and Space, both on one CD. Here we have Billy Preston, that's the way God planned it. I believe some of these bonus tracks were released on a previous issue, but here's a new one from for this issue now. Another one from Billy Preston, Encouraging Words. We have the Radha Krishna Temple. Here's another two albums on one CD from John Taverner, The Whale, and Celtic Requiem. Here's James Taylor's first album.
Here's the Doris Troy album. Also included in this set is the Come and Get It Best of Apple Records CD. This contains several tracks that aren't on the albums included. And exclusive to this set is a double CD. This has disc one is all Badfinger songs. There's a lot of mono mixes and other other mixes included in this. And the second CD is Mary Hopkin and Jackie Lomax songs. Apple logos. And this here is an actual sticker that's stuck on there. And that's only included in the box set. You can't get that separately. Overall, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, again, I would say that this box could be a little bit higher quality. It seems very cheap. And it would be nice if the albums were like the mono box Beatles box set where they're identical replicas of the albums but these are still really really well done so there you have it the Apple box set